What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're getting up with the sun today. We're doing our meal prep. We're being productive and I hope you're doing the same. So we're going to be going over MK677 versus growth hormone today. Now I've done both. I did MK677 for about a year straight. When I could afford growth hormone, I put the MK to the side and I started human growth hormone for the last eight months. And I can say there's been a world of difference between the two, but which one do I prefer and why is why we're gonna be getting into this video. Now this is completely just what happened to me and my personal results. Like I always say, my personal results aren't science. My personal results aren't necessarily correct. It's just what happened to me. So sit back, relax. I hope you can get some type of education and knowledge out of this video. And I'll see you guys right after the intro. <laughs> guys and I almost forgot we are almost at 50,000 subscribers now I said that I wanted to get to 50,000 subscribers before January 1st and you guys are making that happen and I can't like the smile on my face is just it's just so happy so 50,000 subscribers guys which were about 1800 away 20 days 50,000 subscribers I am going to give away close to $500 in cash and $500 worth of supplements from themarkplumber.com. Now you guys want prize packs, you guys want everything. I'm gonna put together a bulking stack and a cutting stack and like a general stack and I'm gonna give all of those away and then I'm gonna give one person $500. Now I need to hit 50,000 subscribers before December 31st or January 1st to make that happen and then I'll make the video explaining how you guys can win. Other than that, I did make a new YouTube channel where I'm buying $1,000 of scratch cards and I'm completely giving away all the money. So that's gonna be the first link in the description. That's gonna be my like fun channel where I kinda just buy random shit, I give away random shit. Every like fourth video, I'm gonna try to give away $1,000. So if you guys like that type of stuff, you like my personality, make sure to go follow that and I hope you enjoy the video. There is no vlog to the video today. I wanted to keep this short and sweet, but I also wanted to go over something that's kind of been bothering me in the industry. Now within the last week, I've seen two videos calling out Kali Masol on how bad of a person he is. I've seen about four or five videos on Connor Murphy saying that he's lost his mind and this is so stupid, the stuff that he's doing. I've seen the anabolic doc call out more plates, more dates for trying to give steroid advice to people, claiming it as he's not giving advice, but then he goes on to say that reading someone's labs and, and breaking down their blood work in their labs is a physician's job, not someone that just has knowledge about reading labs. It's very easy to read labs from a basic theoretical level based off of you know where the results should be, but there's a difference between having actual physician practice in the field and dealing with a ton of different situations such as specific health conditions that affect certain hormones and so on. Now I would just like to put this out here that I don't understand why we all can't just be together and help one another instead of calling everybody out on this bullshit and just putting other people down for trying to enhance their journey in life. What purpose does that make? And to be honest, I don't watch it. Like I, I maybe turn it on and then I'm like, yo, this is, this is ridiculous. And I just want to use Connor Murphy as a general example. Now, Connor Murphy was hilarious, right? He was amazing in the past, super funny. I've watched a lot of his videos. I try to do some of my social experiments off of his confidence, his ideas, and like he's six foot, I'm five foot seven. I mean, it's just fun, it's fun to do. But right now, he's on a spiritual journey. And I don't know if it's because people don't like change. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. But why is everybody putting someone down 
for trying to better themselves? And that's the question that you have to ask. Why are you putting someone down for someone that is trying to better themselves? Because whether you agree with the route that they're taking, whether you agree with, with doing psychedelic drugs, whether you agree in God, whether you agree in the universe, whether you agree with it or not, who are you to tell somebody else that their path in life is wrong? That's their path in life. If they feel that they need to lie to you uh, to sell stuff, if you feel that they're just not being truthful and whatever you may think, I mean, that's their path in life. And you cannot watch them, you cannot support them, but the last thing that I wanna see anyone doing is putting someone down for trying to better themselves. Like we really need to come together and actually just like lift everyone up, you know? That's really it. So, MK677, let's start with that. So, I ran MK677 for my entire Kern US Open prep. I couldn't afford growth hormone, I lost my job, I had to sell my house, sold my dog, totaled my car, had to move back in with my parents so I could get back onto my feet. I was still prepping at the time, and I was like, you know what, I want an extra recovery, I wanted slightly elevated IGF-1 levels, so I took MK677. MK677 cost me $80, um, for 45 tabs of 10 milligrams and I do sell the same ones that I take on my website now you don't have to buy those um, I just like get so many questions after the MK677 video blew up to like 200,000 and they wanted a reliable source I've tried about four different companies and this is the only company that I can physically stand behind and say well I took this for a year and it worked for me so if it works for me, it has to work for you and I can actually stand behind the potency and help you guys out. And technically, SARMs are legal to sell anywhere in the world. It may be a loophole, but you know, I'd rather somebody get good quality products than spend $80 and get absolutely nothing. That's how much it cost me. Mind you, like I was only taking 10 milligrams every single night and I was also cutting at the time. Now from MK677, I found the side effects that I was very lethargic for about three to five days. And then after I was taking it consistently, that kind of went away. I never really got lethargic anymore. The hunger, the hunger for me never went away, unfortunately. I'm like a big tubby kid at heart. And like when I have to get lean, it's a lot of work and I'm already starving. So even 10 milligrams right before bed, Often I was waking up at like 2, 3 a.m. so hungry that I could not get back to bed. I would go to the kitchen, I would grab a big spoon of peanut butter, and I'd be like, shit. Like, then I would have to drop my calories the next day to make up for having that peanut butter at night. Which like, at the end of the day, was it like that big of a deal? No, because I was a power lifter. Because like, fat power lifters. Um, but no, I just did a weight cut and I ended up making weight. I did drop the MK677 12 days out from the competition so I could lose all the water. Now, how did this affect my training? It felt good, it felt good, don't get me wrong. I felt like I was recovering better. Um, with the extra water retention, it definitely pulled subliminal fluid into my joints. So my joints hurt a lot less. Um, I do have a bulge slip disc, which I actually have a video coming out next week on my slip disc and what, I, what I'm doing to currently fix it and relieve the pain. And I did notice that like the inflammation from that slip disc did go away. Now for my nails, my skin, and my hair. I have always had big messy hair, it's never been thin, it's never receded in any which way. So I cannot comment on anything from my hair being different from MK677. My skin, unfortunately, during that time did not get any better. And that is one of the biggest differences I've seen with MK677 versus growth hormone, is the quality of my skin. Uh, but we'll get into that later. But my nails did grow every two to three days. Um, every time that I was like about to like, you know, do the deed and I had to be I'm like, oh shit, my nails are so long. I cut them like two days ago. I have to like go to the bathroom, cut my nails and then, you know, get the job done. So my nails definitely did grow a lot faster. 
And unfortunately in Canada, it's very hard to get blood work done. So I could not test my IGF-1 levels, but I would just like to say like my overall well-being and quality in the gym was improved. It was like, I'm not going to lie. I would be guessing like my IGF-1 went from like low 300s to like maybe like middle 300s, high 300s. Um, if I had to like guesstimate just off of like a scale of how good I was feeling. Now let's go into growth hormone. When I started out on growth hormone, the main purpose I wanted it for my skin. Now, as you can see, like I'm breaking out like right where I have to wear a mask, um, which kind of sucks to be honest, because I worked really hard on my skin. But when I, before all this like Corona, whatever you believe, um, came out, I had no acne whatsoever about three months into taking growth hormone. And I was taking like some cheap Chinese, um, it was called Primatrope, and it was good, it was great. I mean, it was 100 IUs for, I think it was like 300 bucks, cause I got a few kits at once, and then I started taking it, I saw absolutely no results for about six weeks, seven weeks. Now I was at three IUs a day. Everyone says like growth hormone takes a lot longer to kick in. Now, what I did like about growth hormone is I could take it in the morning, fasted. As you know, like to take growth hormone at night isn't the best scenario. To take it on a completely empty stomach, fasted in the morning, it will work the best. You can't really do MK677 in the morning unless you're trying to bulk up. So I mean, that's where like taking it at night with a big meal, I was never getting the most out of my MK677. So the growth hormone that I'm taking now, I'll get up, do three IUs, sub Q right into my stomach, and then I'll do 30 minutes of cardio, and I won't drink branch chains, I won't really drink anything, and I'll make sure that I'm fasted for about 30, 45 minutes, go and shower, eat breakfast, and I'm good to start the day. But for the first seven weeks, I didn't really notice any extra hair, I didn't really notice any nails, my skin wasn't the best, my recovery still wasn't the best, and kind of at that eight week mark, I'm like, holy shit guys. At three IUs a day, I was holding almost no extra water retention. My body started to kind of shape up and get a lot leaner. Now, I was kind of eating like maintenance calories and I just saw a huge change in my body composition. One that I did not see taking MK677. It was very odd, like MK677, I genuinely felt healthy and better, but around that eight to 10 week mark for growth hormone, I started to feel the exact same, but without the lethargicness, so I was not tired. I was waking up a lot more rested. I was going to the gym, coming back more recovered, and then my skin started to improve. And then my nails started to grow a little faster. And then my hair actually started to thicken up even more to the point that I'm still taking growth hormone now. And about four months ago, I started more closer to like the pharmaceutical grade growth hormone. And it was like even more of a world of difference that now I only take two IUs of the pharmaceutical grade growth hormone and it's giving me even better results than the three I use of like the Chinese shit that I was taking. But I have to get my hair cut every three weeks now. I have to cut my nails. Like if you can see this guys, like this, these were my nails yesterday. Like I cut them yesterday. And like this is how long they already are. Um, my recovery in the gym is phenomenal. And right now from being on a TRT dose at 160 milligrams a week, I still wake up ready to go 100% and yeah, my joints feel good. The only thing that's really irritating me is my slip disc. The last kind of positive from the growth hormone that I didn't really get from the MK677 was my base metabolic rate. My base metabolic rate had to go up at least three to 500 calories a day. Um, your base metabolic your base metabolic rate is basically what you do if you were to do absolutely nothing all day and just sit on the couch, not even playing video games and like moving your hand, not even talking or laughing to burn more calories, is if I sat there as a mute on the couch for the entire day, my base metabolic rate is roughly about like 24, 2500. But right now being in the off season, quote unquote, I still need to make 198, but I'm eating about 27, 
2,900 calories and my weight is staying the exact same. Like it's phenomenal. And then just the overall energy throughout the days. I mean, we got up today at uh, six, six o'clock. And like, I, I do still feel groggy because I don't go to bed right now until about 1.30 or two. Cause I'm trying to like pump out videos. Um, I still have a full-time job up until March. So I'm more or less working 45 hours a week. I'm training uh, four to five days a week. And then I'm trying to get two YouTube videos up and manage 20 online clients, which I haven't been taking anymore. I did say that I'm gonna to try to go down to part-time for January, February, and March before I'm fully done with all the outside work. Uh, but I'm taking more clients January 9th, so dieting, www.themarkplumber.com um, for really everything, merch, training, and we're good to go. So that's kind of the difference between MK677 and growth hormone from my perspective. Which one would I choose? I would choose the growth hormone, but mind you, the growth hormone right now is costing me close to $1,000 a month. Is it worth it? For me it is, because my joints, my longevity in the sport, and my skin is everything to me. I do think that MK677 serves its purpose, and I do think human growth hormone serves its purpose. I would probably say that my IGF-1 levels are almost identical between the two, but with MK677, again, lethargic, extra water weight, no improvements of skin. Where growth hormone, I got all of these things. Um, and then obviously the MK677 making you very hungry, and I had to take that at night because I would not be able to stay under my maintenance calories. Versus human growth hormone, I can take fasted on an empty stomach where my blood sugar is the lowest and it's gonna be a lot more utilized by the body and that's it. So again, I do not wanna give medical advice on this channel. I'm simply stating the things I've tried and how it affected me. So I hope this video could help you out. I hope that you take some time today and go on Instagram and write something positive about someone. That's all. Like, how about you go on Instagram today, you see a picture of someone that's busting their ass in the gym, you hit the comment button, well, no, you hit the like button, then you hit the comment button, and you say, yo, bro, you're looking dope. Because you could make someone's day by taking 10 seconds out of yours and writing that. So, like, I really want, like, everyone to come together and be positive and hype each other up and... Instead of like calling everyone out, like I don't understand why we all just can't like collab and grow, especially for people like the anabolic doc and more plates, more dates. I understand that calling somebody out on YouTube will get you more views and you can use them as clout, but imagine how powerful the impact would be if the anabolic doc and more plates, more dates could get on like Zoom calls and like you have basically your professor and an actual physician having a, a logical like conversation that you could learn from instead of just bickering back and forth. Imagine how powerful that could be for people that want to go to the untested side on how much knowledge they could get. Like imagine that. Like wouldn't that would be phenomenal. So like I always say guys, this channel is going to be different than every other YouTuber you guys watch. I'm not going to sell out. I'm not going to let people tell me what to say. I'm always going to strive for this positivity. I'm not going to start calling out people, these natty or not slen um, deformation of character claims. I mean, it's just not who I am. I just want to see everyone succeed. As much as I don't like certain YouTubers, I literally want to see them succeed. Like I want to see everyone succeed in life. It's not that hard. It's just being, like I thought that was just genuine from everybody, but apparently it's not. So like these videos, make sure to subscribe. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers. I love you guys. Next week, we have the video with Daphne coming out next Tuesday. And then we have another public experiment. And then we also have my slip disc video. And that should bring us very close to New Year. So let's get it.